back at it again. It's the end of May. Got two weeks of books to go through. Thanks to Coffee and a Comic. Let's do it. Boom. Starting with the big one, Distillery. White Boat number one from Scott Snyder. Amazing art by Francesco Francavilla. This is cover B by Kelly Jones, but the coloring is still Francesco. And if you check this book out, the art and the way that the oranges and the blues pop is just so awesome. We'll have to show off the back. I gotta start doing this with all the distillery books because they all have full cover front and back art. So sick. Amazing. White boat number one. You gotta get it. Man's Best, number three. Just another porn sack book. The art's pretty sweet. If you're into little animals being your protagonists, this is an amazing book. Man's Best, number three. Blue Book, number four. Can't believe we're already number four. Totally dig the way that Tiny is able to kind of remaster a real history and tell it in such a beautiful comic form where it's really eerie. If you're into aliens, if you're into UFOs, this shit gets eerie. Someone mentioned the backstories on Blue Books. Pretty cool too. If you ever checked out his Strange Tales or Weird Tales or whatever the fuck it's called on Tiny Onion. There you go, Blue Book number four. Thundercats number four. This has got to be the Ivan Tao variant. Thundercats is a cool IP. Probably won't get any more Dynamite books, honestly. Just because recycling, I'm gonna come up on a Transformers and Cobra Commander book pretty soon, but recycling these old characters is, it's cool, but I want to support creator owned new stories. Here you go, Thundercats. There's one of the oldest IPs we're collecting and reading. There you go, Cobra Commander, number five. Again, who knows how long G.I. Joe has been around and when Cobra Commander was introduced, but the EU, it all started with Void Rivals. We're following all the EU books. It's a cool little universe. It's definitely better than reading fucking Beast World, whatever event DC had last year. Check out Cobra Commander. Speaking of creator own shit, The Holy Roller from Rick Remender and Andy Samberg, part of his giant generator studios. Uh, I mean, look at this guy. I don't even want to talk about it. This was one of the first books we started collecting and reading. Uh, can't believe we're only at number six, but the Holy Roller is fucking awesome. This is what I want to see in my superheroes. Just dudes kicking ass, getting bloody, causing mayhem, doing damage. Holy Roller number six. Void Rivals number nine. That's what I was talking about earlier. First EU book that started it all. I had no idea. I went in totally blind when I picked up Void Rivals. I just saw Robert Kirkman's name. I'm like, that's the dude who wrote The Walking Dead, right? Cool. And then next thing you know, fucking Transformers are popping out of the ground and there's a whole Hasbro ad at the very back. But there you go. Void Rivals number nine. DC Hellblazer Dead in America number five. What do you know? It's our good old friend Swamp Thing. Dude, look at this art. You recognize the artist's signature? Anyway, another Spurrier book. This is where we're gonna put in the clip of Glenn talking shit about Spurrier. I wanna see what he said the last few weeks. Boom. Johnson's Hellblazer, number four. Yeah, maybe they'll find a good writer for him one of these days. Yeah, yeah, not Cy Spurrier. Yeah. That guy could, I think that guy could screw up a free lunch. Oh, okay, it's... Batman First Night, book three. 1939, totally different setting. Gotham's on fucking fire. No, I'm just kidding. But check them out, man. This bat, the color and the art in this thing is so rad. I, I kind of wish I collected some of the other covers. Really, really legit Black Label series from Dan Jurgens. The Batman, First Night, book three. And then here's this week's books. Bam, The Fragments of the Machine, Chapter 4 from Blitmap. If you know, you know, I don't know shit. I haven't opened up any of the blip map previous one through three. We're just collecting it for now. I think it goes up to six, but I don't see many people talking about this or the concept. Maybe because it was like some failed NFT idea, but there's so much there. 
but we'll get into the reveal probably at the end of the year. Blip map number four. Are you collecting it? Operation Sunshine number two. Operation Sunshine already dead number two. Yeah, there you go. I think I mentioned something about collecting the rest of this series, but this cover from Martin Morazzo, Martin fucking whatever, put it here. This guy's uh, art's pretty dope, so we added it to the collection. Operation Sunshine, already dead too. Dawn Runner number three. I mean, what can I say? Ron B. He's just been putting out so many hits. I really dig the art in this one as well. The whole concept's fucking vibing. Cover, there goes that title on the cover where they split Dawn Runner. We don't want to make that mistake anymore. Dawn Runner number three. This is an oldie but goodie from Dark Horse. We're adding Christopher Chaos back into the collection. Picking up number nine, I forget the last issue in red, but we're a bit behind. We gotta support all those Tiny Onion books. Boom, Dan Waters. The Six Fingers number four. Are you collecting it? Oh shit, oh I think it's this side. Boom. Yeah, we had it last week, or the last update. Gotta read both books. There we go, Dan Waters and Ron B. Nailing it. I almost wanted to cry when I saw this back in the pool. Knights number seven. I think the trade's coming out. I'm gonna see if I can find it for cheap. There's going to be a second story in the collected versions, but Wyatt, Luigi, Francesco, and ML, back at it. Knights gives high theater. What kind of shit's going down? Oh, some Sweeney Todd shit. Look at this. You already know. Shout out. Sodenheim, what's up? World Tree Wednesday, baby. A&P. Incentives, they'll come one day. But, oh man, look at the light on this bee is popping, dude. World tree. Fuck, man. Sick. Anyway, number 10. There she is. Everyone's all warp and glitching. Coming for you. World tree Wednesday, baby. Let's celebrate.